Congratulations to Pittsburgh for making it this far. Number six, Pittsburgh, 29 and three, is seeded number two in the region, and they take on 12th ranked and third seeded Florida in the first regional semifinal at 2.30 p.m. on Thursday. Head coach Dan Fisher is joined by student athletes Courtney Bezzario and Serena Gray. Um, if you have a question and you're following along on Zoom, drop a message in the chat and we'll get to them if we can. Otherwise, coach, if you'd start us off with an opening statement, then we'll take questions uh, for the coach and student athletes. Yes, we're uh, excited to be in Wisconsin. It's, this is my first time. These two young ladies have more experience here than, than I do. Uh, you, you know, any team that makes the Sweet 16, it's a major accomplishment. So I want to congratulate all the teams here. Uh, we certainly feel like it's one of the, the, the toughest groupings and that you know almost any one of these teams could advance. And so uh, we, we, we expect to see some very good volleyball this weekend. And uh, again, just uh, appreciate being welcomed so warmly by the University and the NC2A. Courtney, you're ready? Yeah, I'm right. yeah, down. Dennis Punzel from the Wisconsin State Journal. Dan, you got to the Final Four a year ago with a, a team that uh, played a kind of a unique style. How, how does this team compare? Is it similar? Have you uh, made major adjustments? Yeah, I think the, the culture of our team and kind of the, the pillars we founded it on is, is similar. Uh, I would say stylistically, uh, we still want to swing at a lot of balls, and we want to put pressure on the other team. We, we, we're not the speed of our offense to the pins is not as fast as it has been, but um, you know we're we're a little taller this year, and especially with Juliana in the lineup. And so, yeah, I think we're, there's a lot of similarities, but I, I think we're as good defensively, maybe a little bit better with our block, um, and uh, and I think our service game is very strong this year. Courtney, you, you make a, a switch this year from a, a program that hadn't had much success. You're around one that does. What, what, what's that been like for you to be around winning like this? Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing and what drew me here was just the consistency of our culture and um, just girls coming in day in, day out, um, wanting to get better and um, just it's an all-around effort, but I mean, the success is really fun, and I'm really happy to be here and competing at such a high level. Dan, the college world in all sports is changing, and you, you see kids who start out in other programs come in and become major players, and you'll be playing teams that have that happen too. How does that affect how you coach and how you recruit and the impact yeah. that you see that the instant impact people can have with a year or two or three, whatever left. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I do think it will slow down a little bit as the COVID fifth years phase through. Uh, but you're right, the, the college landscape is changing. And as, and as coaches, it's not really our job to be judgmental and wish it was the way it was in the past. Or So we're just trying to be as good as we can uh, with, with the current rules. and. Um, yeah, the reality is we were able the last couple of years to, you know, we had a good team already, and then we added some experienced players that made us better, and two of them are right here. And so um, it's going to continue to be uh, a combination of both, trying to get the best young players you can and then some seasoned veterans. Courtney and Serena, have you both played in the field house before at mm -hmm. your prior schools? What are your impressions of the building, the atmosphere, volleyball in this venue? Um, coming from Penn State and playing here once before, I definitely remember how loud it was and how rowdy. That's all I can really take from that. Feels like it was a lot, another lifetime ago, but that's all I got. Yeah, I would agree. Um, they have a really good student section. Um, it's loud. I never play, I've, I've only played here, I guess, three times. I didn't play here COVID year, but um, so it's been full capacity full, all the times I've been here. Given that your match will be a neutral match, what do you think that, how do you think the crowd will respond to Pittsburgh and Florida? I imagine we're going to have a smaller crowd, but I think that kind of plays to our advantage. Um, just because watching some of Florida's games, they have a really, seems like they have a really strong home court advantage when they take on opponents there. So I think it'll be interesting to 
uh, see how each team is able to create its own energy and see which team wants it more when they're not at home. Do, do you have any idea who, is, is there something we could say to get the Wisconsin uh, fans on our side? Uh, coach, the, one of the big storylines for the match against Florida is the, the Team USA U21 team connection with yourself being the coach, uh, Rachel Fairbanks, and three players from Florida being on that team. Can you talk a little bit about uh, that connection that you have with Florida and how that may help or hurt the preparation? You know, there's, there's actually four, if you include Gabby Essex from two years ago that I've coached for Florida. Um, you know, I, I, you know, with, with I, I, not much, you know, other other than like, be, uh, the reason is because, you know, in the modern era, people have access to every single game they've played this year. And so the scouting is pretty comprehensive. But and and really, you know, I'm only able to be with them a short amount of time. So. Um, I, I, other than just familiarity with the players, I don't think it's going to make a, a, a big out. A bi uh, there's going to be a big difference in the outcome. I asked this of Florida. How do you match up against Florida at one? And then mm -hmm. how do you not overlook such a strong field and maybe look ahead to either Wisconsin or Penn State? I think it's, I hope it's pretty easy to not overlook Florida. <laughs> they're, they're, a, they're a very physical team, very talented. I think. The interesting part of the matchup is, you know, lately they've been a lot better than us on first ball, and we've been a lot better than them in transition. And so, you know, I think, um, you know, so we've got to do some things, you know, from the service line and with our block and defense to kind of nullify the first ball. And then obviously we want to continue to be good in the long rallies. Um, but yeah, it's a little, the numbers uh, are, are interesting. Dan, I guess specifically, what has Courtney done for you? She's had a huge year coming in. What sort of impact has she had, and what does she do best for you? Um, uh, gosh, where do I start? I mean, the, the, the most obvious is the load she takes offensively. What you don't see is how hard she's worked with her transition game to, to get off the net more. You don't see how hard she's worked and how much she's improved as a blocker. And you don't see what a great human and teammate she is. And so. Um, yeah, she's, she's the whole package. So how do you guys as a team relax while you're waiting for, you know, you got some long days here with practice and then tomorrow, you know, you actually have a short day, but how are you keeping, you know, your, your eye on the prize, I guess? I mean, scheduling wise, they have us, I mean, we're in finals this week, so we have to, get back into school after practice, and I think we're trying to keep it as normal as we can in that, that way. But um, game days, we'll get in the gym, we'll get our reps in and gain our confidence and kind of do that sort of stuff and just get the touch on ball before the match. But um, yeah, I think we're just trying to keep everything as consistent as it would be if we were up in Pittsburgh. Um, you asked how we relax. I believe we have a little team activity scheduled, and we have a nice dinner together. So lots of relaxing is going to happen today. <laughs> We're right by the Capitol, too, so they're able to walk around. And you know, I think there's some, we, we like to get outside when we can. Go to State Street, get some shopping. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Any further questions? Thank you all. Good luck tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Anthony, you should have said no further questions, Your Honor. <laughs>